Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of Voices of CS, our alumni interview series. Today's guest is someone most of us already look up to. He is a senior who has just written NEET 2025 and scored one of the highest ranks in the city. This year's NEET was harder than usual, no perfect scores, physics was harder than usual and the overall rankings shifted quite a bit. But more than marks, today's episode is going to be about the journey, the school life, decisions and daily discipline. To begin with, could you please introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Prithvi. I've graduated 12 this year from CS Academy and I've been studying here since 2011. And I've attempted the NEET this year and I've got a score of 620. Let's take you back to your grade 10 when you had to choose your stream. What particularly drew you towards science? I was actually in a dilemma to choose Math Bio or Math Computer Science. So I was actually interested in physics more than biology. But it was my parents' decision to choose Bio Math. And I thought it, uh, it would open a wider range of courses. As I mentioned earlier, we saw that this year's NEET paper made headlines, especially physics. A lot of us heard that numericals were difficult and modern physics was especially intense. How did it feel for you inside the exam? The first moment when I saw the paper, I was tensed. I felt rather not to uh, check out the physics paper because it would make me more scary. And it, uh, then after a few minutes, I thought to myself that one if the paper was difficult, I could score higher mm -hmm. and if it was easy, the competition would be more intense and everything worked in favor of me. Time pressure is a real thing in such papers. Did you feel like your strategy worked on the actual exam day? My strategy did not work well on the exam day. So I had to adapt uh, on that time. Usually I would take an hour to do biology, but, on, but on that day, I took an hour and 10 minutes for biology and it, I had uh, still 8 to 10 questions left which had an effect on my physics part. So I did not have time to do physics, which will usually take more than an hour. So I guess at the end of the day, uh, the amount of preparation we do really matters so that we can easily adapt on the spot. Moving on to study techniques, were there any unique methods that you use, flashcards, teaching others, or maybe just discipline revision that help you score this mark? First of all, I would study at least four hours a day. Uh, then I would use a lot of techniques like Pomodoro and Feynman technique. And also I would uh, listen to brain waves, uh, which you could check on YouTube or Spotify and uh, which would help my brain to uh, get back to focus. And I would uh, read a lot of newsletters which talk about uh, neuroscience related stuff and productivity techniques, which also help uh, me in my journey. Uh, and also I consumed a lot of food, uh, which help uh, enhance uh, the focus. And I would not uh, tell all the techniques which I follow will be useful for you, but uh, what I did in 11th was I experimented all these techniques and uh, figured out which would work uh, the best for me and you could also do the same. I think it's up to us to decide which technique works best. Moving on, we know that you're headed into medicine now, but did you ever consider any other alternate career paths or even doing something entirely different? Initially, I had a great interest in physics research. I had a I like uh, astronomy way more compared to biology, but then uh, after a few months, I then figured out that I had in, uh, interest in biology uh, more than that of astrophysics. Have you applied to any other colleges uh, aside from need based ones just to keep your options open? I have attempted JE and ISER aptitude test, but I was pretty much confident that I would score uh, good marks in NEET. What was your revision plan like in the last one month before NEET? Did you switch strategies in between? During revision, I would average about six hours of revision each day. I didn't know how to divert from this stress. I would read philosophy as I had a great interest uh, in philosophy. Then uh, I would prepare a lot of flashcards after each revision test to reflect on the mistakes that I would make and which would uh, prevent me from making the same mistakes again in uh, the exams. If you had to give one piece of advice to someone who is entering grade 11 or 12 with NEET in their mind, what would it be? NEET is not just about uh, preparation, scoring good marks. You have to really know if you want a profession. Being a doctor is much more. As a student, being committed and determined to your preparation is very more important. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. We often see NEET scores as just numbers, but today we got to see the person behind it. To everyone watching, Voices of CS is all about these journeys. Stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.